Hey everyone, this is Casey Stubbs from Trading Strategy Guides, and today I'm really excited to have a, a really good training. Hold on. <laughs> I got... I had another window open. <laughs> it was, I was getting <laughs> you yourself twice. Yeah, that, that's it was missing. Driving me crazy. <laughs> okay, start over. I had another browser and it was like in this crazy echo. Uh, Casey Stubbs here from Trading Strategy Guides. Sorry for the mishap. Uh, we got a really cool training and a cool tool today that I, we want to showcase. Uh, and I'm from Latrobe, Pennsylvania, and I'm here with Etienne Crete from Desire to Trade. And he's in Mexico right now. Uh, he's all over the world. He's a global traveler, trader traveler, but right now he's in Mexico. And he's created some, because he travels, he's created some great tools to help him trade the markets on the go, to help him get his signals delivered to him wherever he's at so he doesn't have to spend quite as much time looking at the charts all the time. And he's going to share some things about that today, as, long, as well as a great deal of other things. And I'm going to be right here with him, uh, just having conversation and sharing some things. Uh, but everyone, uh, welcome to ETN. Yeah, thank you, Casey. Really appreciate it. And you guys, they have prepared like a full training. So although we'll talk about the training assistant, which we develop at the end, there's a full training first that we want to go through, and it's going to be really tactical. I spent a lot of time working on that. And this is kind of what really, really helped me move from struggling traders to profitable in 12 months. That was like two, three years ago. But just following these steps, I think can make a big difference. We'll jump on that. And I know Casey has a lot of good things, comments also to make on, on that topic. And he's probably going to agree on all the tips. So let me share my screen over here for the webinar. And we'll wrap with that. So it's going to take a second. Technical stuff. Love that. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, let me show over here. And while we're doing that, I just wanted to just wanted to ask everybody in the chat to make sure that the sound is sounding good. Uh, is everybody getting good sound quality on your end? If you can, just go ahead and let us know in the chat. It's always better with good sounds, of course. And if you guys want to let us, want to let us know where you're from and kind of what you want to get out of the training also would be awesome. So we can know kind of where to talk in this, what to cover, but we have a lot to cover anyways. That's going to be uh, awesome. Yeah, people say, listen to your awesome, good audio. So let me share my screen. Kind of forgot how to do this, apparently. Here we go. Uh, boom, can you guys share my screen? And Casey might want to do the uh, share to everyone thing. Got it. Awesome, guys. So. We are going to talk about something interesting, which we already said, how to get profitable in 12 months or less. I did this in like 12 months. It took me like a year to really work on what I was doing and become better. But I really think you can do it faster. I think I wasted some time. I didn't really know what I was doing that much. I had to learn from different people. And I think if you should take this like properly and apply it properly, you will get results much faster. So 12 months is kind of a, a measure, but see it has, as it goes. And there's something I can understand, like, because I've been to a lot of webinars before. I've attended a lot of webinars on how to trade. And there's always this kind of one thing where you see, like, the big guy showing off everything he's doing, how good he is, how, like, amazing he is at, at trading and stuff. And I want to make this like this. I I'm sure Casey's seen this before. And Casey and I both agree on the fact that this event today is not about, about me or us. It's going to be about you, about what you can apply, what lessons you can take, and what you need to do to, what you need to, do to become better. So we'll focus on you today. And that could be the evening, the morning for you, whatever. So to get the most out of this, today take notes, stay focused, do whatever you need to be able to like focus on this and take your takeaways you want to apply. You might get a lot of things to apply today, but apply what you need to apply, not like all of it and be overwhelmed at the end. That's not a good idea at all. Okay. So topics we'll cover, well, this is tonight, but it's more like morning for me here. Uh, we'll talk about the three most profitable trading after the quick introduction. And then we'll go to how to grow a small trading account. I get a lot of questions about that pretty much every single day. And lastly, we'll do a QA and a on kind of whatever you have to ask or your questions. And that's going to be really, really packed, really awesome. So looking forward to this quite a lot. So this training is not for people that expect to be given a strategy like right away and get to the million. That rarely happens. That's not a good thing. We're not there for that. 
both Casey and I know that we have to put in the work to get to your old goals and achieve what we want to achieve. And if you have no interest in trading, but just kind of want to make money fast, that might not be the case. But if you have a passion for it, then awesome. And we'll teach you uh, about that today. So a quick disclaimer here, my results are not typical. And Forex training involves some, some risk. Of course, you know that. And the use of information in this training is going to be at your own risk. Like we know, I pretty much know that this is going to work today, but you have to apply it at your own risk and understand that there's risk involved, but every success in life requires risk. So that's plain and simple. So I want to do a quick introduction because you guys might not know me. You might probably know Casey. You might not know Casey that, that well. So we'll do a quick introduction. And I want to share with you kind of my philosophy on trading, what I believe in and what I've been striving to achieve this past almost five years. So I'm a traveling swing trader. I've been trading since 2013. I host a popular podcast on trading, the Desire Trade Podcast. We'll talk about this later. I got my first $50,000 to trade in 2016 from investors. And I specialize in trading methodology and trading psychology. Okay, so if you have any question about what I do, what I like, whatever, comment in the chat. And it's getting really active there for now. So uh, we'll answer your questions soon. But that is going to be for a little bit later, of course. Okay, so I want to, uh, Casey, introduce yourself. Tell people what you do a little bit because people might not know you. They might know you really well also. But give a bit of background about yourself and what you're up to. Uh, well, I'm the founder of Trading Strategy Guides, which pr provides great content and strategies for traders to help them get started. Uh, and I've been doing this for about 10 years. Trading Strategy Guides is new, but my first site was Winner's Edge Trading. And I've just been producing content and helping people uh, advance their trading education for the last uh, 10 years. And I also help other traders uh, get discovered and get found. Uh, when I find a really good trader who has a great product, I help introduce that trader to the market because I know that uh, I want as many people as possible to be able to find something good. And because there, there's so much to choose from, there's a lot that can get mixed up it's hard for them to find good products but so i help people find good products and that's one of the reasons why I, i'm introducing you today etn is because you have some really good stuff to share to the world and i want to get help people get that out awesome thank you appreciate it. and big shout out to uh ivan cote in the chat from quebec canada we really appreciate people from uh, back where i'm from so that's pretty cool but yeah so i want to share a couple of things about me kind of what i believe in and those are kind of my philosophies. So I value a lot, a lot freedom and lifestyle over pretty much everything else. So that's part of the reason why I decided to trade first and decided to move into trading and really achieve a good level of trading and kind of not give up at it. But I believe that like there's more to do in life than to be sitting for 10 hours at the computer every day and trade. So I would much rather travel, do different things than being trading all day. It, that, that's the first thing. In the past 18 months, I've been traveling to 18 countries. And that's just, I think, the beginning. There's much more to come. And the philosophy number two, which I have, is I don't see myself as only a trader. And like Keith mentioned before, he's doing a lot of things, pretty much more than I do. But it's important in life, I think, to see yourself as more than just a trader. Like There's much more you can achieve, much more things you can do than just trade. And life is much more fulfilling when you see yourself as more than a trader. So for me, uh, I see my trading as like just kind of, kind of one tower in, in the big empire. So take like take this as like an empire. And my trading is just a part. It's just one thing. And I, th I think life is much better this way when you have multiple ways to make money, multiple things that you can work on. And today we'll focus mostly on trading. But if you have, if you, if you have a question about other parts, I'm happy to answer. But I think trading is something you want to master. It's useful. It's better. You, you have more freedom, of course. But there's other things you can you can work on. So keep that in mind. And philosophy number three, I see a lot of people that like ask, oh, I want to get consistent result in trading. But if you get that only consistent action, we need to consistent result. If you don't do consistent action, the result won't be consistent. So focus on that first. And I'm a big believer in like having, hab having habits, routines, things that you do daily or weekly to become better. And we'll talk about those today, more in details. But keep in mind that if you want to have consistent result, you need consistent action. Okay, so I really, really believe in that. So I will assume now that you agree with those things. Those are just kind of framework and things I, I walk around and I believe in. If, if you don't agree with this, it might not be a good training for you. If you believe that you have to work hard, like 
trade all day at your computer to make money. I'm not really there for that. That's going to be a style for some people, but not for me. And I'm pretty sure Casey agrees on that also, right? Yes, I do. I absolutely. Awesome. Cool. So comment below in the chat what you want to learn about today. And like today, I prepared a lot of stuff, but there might be things you want to focus on and you want to learn more. And this training is going to be like targeted for you. They're always a bit different. So if you have any question, anything that you want us to cover, case your eye, doesn't matter. Comment below in the chat and let us know because we want to focus on that and make sure to get a lot and a lot out of this training today. Okay. So we'll go right, right into the three most profitable forex trading in 12 months or less. Okay. There's three. And I want us to really simplify this to like three because like you could talk about 125 different things. But the less we have, the better you can apply and the, the more successful you'll see. So all the, how this all began, I want to go back a couple of years ago. So most traders at kind of hit the point where they don't know why things are not working. I was there in 2000, 2014 about, and I didn't really know what to do at all. I was just trying different things in the market. And I kind of hit this point where it's either like you gave up or you keep going. And of course I decided to keep going at that time, but we all hit that point at some point. And then I knew something had to change. I knew I had to make something different. Either it was going to be me doing something different, maybe finding different resource, doing things in a different manner, not, not, not just finding different strategies, but like really, really revamping my whole trading overall. And at that point I knew I had something to change, do something different. So that's where I discovered the first aspect, which is the power of relationship. And I want to share a few examples with this. Like this is really, really amazing and powerful. Yeah. So one day I saw that there was this uh, meetup happening in Montreal and it's not about the meetup. It's just about the fact that there was something happening. And this is a, a place where traders would meet together and kind of discuss and do socials. Okay. So I thought, and back at that time I was back in Hong Kong, I couldn't really go. This was in Montreal, my home city. So I said, whenever I'll, I'll like, whenever I come back to Montreal, I'll definitely go to the event. And the first time I signed up and I didn't go the first time. Okay. I said, well, with all these like resources online, these books, these websites, these blogs, these videos, you can sure learn by yourself. Why would you go to a meetup and meet people? Like it's, it's ridiculous. And so I, the first one I didn't go, this was like every month. So for a month, I didn't see any result. I was also like stuck, didn't know what to do at all. I was trying to learn from different people. I took like two courses in that month and it didn't help that much. And then the next month I went, this is in July, 2015. Okay. So I went to that, that meetup and no kidding guys in one evening of surrounding myself with traders. I learned way, way, way more by than by two years of reading books and watching videos and doing all these things online, which kind of helped a little bit sometimes, but didn't produce the result I wanted that time. Okay. So you have to think about relationship more. And from there, I, I, I told myself, well, I have to meet more traders and be around more traders because there's really big, like a big impact with that. So this is where I started my podcast also to kind of talk with more traders. What a better way to learn from traders and talk to them on a podcast. But you don't need to do that necessarily. It's, it's more about surrounding yourself with the right people and doing this consistently. So here's an example with trading. Back in, this was like, I think 2017 or 16. And I was doing a presentation at, at the meetup, okay? I was talking about this this time breakouts. We did a, a kind of a meetup, that, that same meetup. We did an event in Montreal and I was talking about breakouts, how to trade breakouts. And at the end of the event, there's a guy coming up to me. He said something like, oh, so I kind of like a presentation, what you talked about. And I have this office I'm trading uh, since a couple of years. I have this office in uh, New Montreal. You should come to visit at some point. And a couple of days later, I went there and talked to him for an hour or two. He showed me what he was doing, like everything was working on. And at the end of that, just talk and exchange. A few said actually. So he gave me $50,000 to trade right away, like in a click, just after talking with him. And from there, I understood the fact again of relationship and that the more you find yourself with the right people, the more opportunities you get and the more you're able to kind of move forward and progress. I wouldn't expect having that money by myself. I just got it from that person. And that just make a big, big jump start to my trading and kind of a big step ahead also for getting money from other people to trade. And I found out that getting money was easier than I thought just because I had the right relationship and I was surrounding myself with the right people. Yeah. And you can multiply that and like make this much, much more powerful. If you keep showing yourself with the right people, this is just an example that kind of struck with me. 
but a lot of things happen when you surround yourself with the right people. Okay. So I want to like really make this tactical, give you guys a couple of action step. Think about the people that you can reach out to that can help you reach your goals. Five to 10 people, make a note of that down on a sheet of paper and then reach out to those people. Could be as simple as like writing an email, contacting them on social media, and you'll see that the result come eventually, the more you surround yourself with the right people. And then make it a goal to surround yourself with traders, whether it's gonna be in, in podcasts, in videos and courses, or better even in person. Like talk to people in, in, in your city that trade. In, all, in, in pretty much all cities I've been to, uh, like without no exception, almost. There are traders that trade the market every day, make a living from it. You just have to find them and reach out to them. And as soon as you do, you'll see the results will come. And you will get a different way of thinking, a different thought process, and different result eventually. Okay, so that's really powerful. So I, I want to ask you, Casey, do you agree with that, that part? Anything that you would add to it or anything that you think stuck with you? Yeah, I think that uh, talking with other traders and not just being uh, behind the computer screen is really important. So like you'd said about the meetup, I think going to meetups is really a cool thing to do. You get to meet people, you get different ideas, you have someone you can talk to. I think finding friends and getting just people that maybe are a little bit ahead of you are really important. Uh, it's helped me out tremendously in pretty much every area of my life. That's what I've done to help me get to the next level uh, is to find people and just reach out to them and not just try to do everything on my own. Exactly. You save a lot of time by not doing everything on your own. So that's, uh, that's awesome. And I still have a question in the chat about training different time frame from Ibrahim. We'll get to that soon. I think in the part of our strategies, we'll get to that uh, pretty in detail, but uh, yeah, it's awesome. Cool. Nice. Okay. So I want to get to the second part. And this is the one that after relationship, like I saw the most success with. That is about reviews and preparation for success. Now, you said a lot of people prepare, but the wrong way. So at the beginning, I thought I would be able to just move and go to my chart and play straight. This is kind of like a typical thing you see online. People, they just trade all day or they just trade whenever they want to trade and they make a ton of money, which in reality doesn't happen. All right. So then I heard this, this advice somewhere, the, the fact that I have to create a trading plan, kind of prepare before trading and being able to work with that and follow my plan. Th that's what I heard online again. And the problem is that my first trading plan was like huge, like 30 pages or so. And I actually bought this course a few years back of like how to create your plan. And that course was like a day, like, so every single year you will do something different. We'll work on something to create your plan. And at the end of the program, you end up with like a 30 page training plan, which might be good for some people, but I couldn't really use it that well. Like what do you do when you have a trade, you don't know what to do, and then you have to look at your plan, your 3D pages, and try to apply it. And that that's really tough. So this didn't really work for me. And even though I was kind of more prepared, I didn't see any result more from that trading plan. Until then, I, I came across this principle of having a checklist. Okay, and I want to go back on a different example. So I want to move out to actually, because sometimes we have to understand trading from outside trading. Okay. So the uh, best example I like to see with this is like planes. Do you think plane pilot, they kind of have this way of doing things where they just decide in the moment what to do? Like, oh, I feel like today we should like climb up and then go down fast to, to land. Or, oh, I feel like today we should like fly to a lower level. Or I feel like today we should maybe try to kind of keep the, the wheels down for the whole flight. They don't do that, right? Because they have a process to follow. They have some checklist and things they do all the time to make sure that the flight is smooth. And that's kind of what they have. doesn't matter. I don't understand that stuff too much. But the principle is that they have some checklist, things to do before the flight, after the flight, and throughout the flight to make sure that things are smooth and happen the same, the same way all the time. And the same should go with trading. But keep another example. So doctors, do you think they would say, well, today I feel like we should do this surgery with this way and then tomorrow we'll do it another way. We'll, do something, we'll try something different. They don't do that because they know the process would not be good and you would probably not want to trust that, that, that surgeon or that person doing the surgery. Right, so they have some checklists they follow. And the same thing goes with trading. Now we could go on and on with this and talk about different ways. So here's the checklist I had. This was on my desk at all times. I would just do like a, kind of a one pager with things I would have to check. So this is my checklist that I, that I had back then. And I would kind of have this marker here and check every time. 
So I would check every single step along the way when I was following this, the, the checklist. And this was making it like really easy to know what's a bad trade, what's a good trade, and what you have to improve, what you have to change. Okay. So I would follow this every time. And by having this on my desk, I would first of all have less mistakes. I would be following my plan most of, most of the time. And I would not second guess myself with, oh, should I enter this or not? Or oh, it looks good. I should maybe enter this trade. Maybe I should skip. Um, no, it doesn't look that good. Skip the trade. No, I would just follow the plan. And then I would also journal along this way, which we'll talk about next. But this is like really big. And I'm kind of wondering, Casey, did you ever have this, like a checklist on your desk or anything? And you got some comments in the chat. Let us know if you had this before or not. But I'm kind of curious to hear your perspective on that. Yeah, I think a checklist is really good because it can help you really focus and get past emotions. I think uh, emotional uh, urges, depending upon whatever's happening in the market, can cause you to drift off. And so having that checklist there can really help you with your discipline, as well as the process aspect of uh, understanding that the strategy and the plan is all part of a specific process and uh, if you have a, an organized checklist, it can really be useful in helping you really understand how the process works. And so I think that's pretty cool uh, image that you have there. I, li I like that a lot. Yeah. And this is really where you see the biggest difference. Like I, I tell this to different traders sometimes, just like create a checklist. And when they like, sometimes they don't do it, they say, oh, I, like, I don't need it. I'm good. I understand what you do. But when they do it for real, they see a big difference in their income and their trades. And like, we don't want to focus on, on income at the end because there's more to it. Could have a, re a really good losing, like really good winning streak, but then you end up in a place where you lose a lot of money after. So that's not good. But when they stick to your checklist, they know what they do and they can refine the process also in the future of like, oh, so this worked well, but now this market doesn't really work well. I might have to change things up a little bit. And that's where the power is. So really powerful in my opinion. And you guys also said in the, in the comments, which I saw, uh, checklists are awesome. This was from Finance and Market. Alejandro, also nice. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, nice. Uh, someone's asking for the details on the checklist. I have this in my blog. I'll, I'll try to share the link later on in the, the event. But I offer this for free. It's just a checklist I have. And uh, yeah, I'll try to po post a link later. Or maybe Alejandro can post a link because he knows the, the link. We'll see. Anyway, cool. Uh, so I want to guess comment below in the chat. Also, if you ever reviews your trade, this is a big mistake people make where they think that they, they can just trade and trade and trade and become better. Now, what I've seen in the past is that average and good traders, they go from week to week without much thought. They say, oh, so this week was bad or this week was really good. I made some profit. Let's go into the next week. And then the next week, oh, this week, this week was good or was bad. And they don't really see any progress. They do the same mistake over and over again without much improvement. Okay. And, and then I discovered in the past that great traders, they invest all their past experiences, everything they do, they learn and mistake and the mistakes in order to become better, in order to move forward the next week. Like what they can take from the past week, apply to the next week. And that's how they reach the progress. Okay. So I started doing that like uh, in 2015. I would sit down every Sunday morning, look at all my trades the past week. And I would of course track them beforehand, look at all of them and identify which one were good and bad and which one made money and, and lost money. And I will go through all of them, see my result, what can I improve the next week and kind of make a journal with this. Okay, so I would have this journal on my on my desk and I would kind of track down everything I was doing. And there's a few questions I kind of like to ask myself and I would maybe share this with you guys if you want. They're a little bit small here. But the first thing I would, I would write down is was I consistent enough this week? Okay, was I, was I consistent enough? I would write a small paragraph here. Then I would write, did I accomplish what I said I would? Because we all have things we work on as traders, the things that we want to achieve. Maybe it's going to be for you back this thing. Could be creating a new strategy. It could be working on something that you want to automate, whatever. But did you accomplish what you said you would this past week? And we'll write this down over here. Then we'll write down how would I rank, and this is really powerful, how would I rank my trading out of 10? From a scale of 1 to 10, I might have like 5 this week or 4. It doesn't matter where you're at. But like, you could, so you could say, I'm at 4 this week. Four out of 10, which is not good, but it's not the end of the world. And then the next question is more powerful. So you ask yourself, how can I make this score of like four, one, 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 one number higher? So like a five next week. And you write down an action step. That's going to be your goal for next week. 
And then from this, you can like really see progress every week and track yourself every week. And eventually things start to move more, more forward and better. And you see some progress. Because that's what I would do like every week without missing a week. And I was just progress with this. Like, this is more recent, 2018. But back then, we just the exact same thing on a different notebook. Okay. And that makes a big difference. Now, the other thing I do is I track my trades. I'm, I'm very like visual. You guys will understand that. But I like to track all my trades I take. And I classify them. Okay. So I have different categories for every trade. And now here's break even. We'll just say like this is, a, for example, a losses. Okay. So bad, bad losses, uh, good losses, bad losses. To make it simple, they're just like on the right of the screen, which you cannot see now. But I would classify them between categories. Okay, so what are the good winning trades, which, win, which means trades you win that are good trades. And then what are good, the good losing? Oh, we have losing here. So good losing are trades that you, you lose, but they are good. They respect your plan. Okay, and then you have good, here's going to be a good losing. Oh, we have good losing, sorry. So yeah, it's <laughs> nice. So, for, so here would be like bad break even. So trades are the say bad losing trade. Okay, so you lose the trade, and it didn't respect your plan. And here would, you have like bad bad winning basically. Okay, which is the other part missing. So bad winning trade or trade that you that you win, they make money, you feel good, but they didn't respect your plan. Eventually, if you take them long enough, you will you will lose money. Okay, eventually because they're bad trades. So I would classify them like this, and then I would ask myself, well, what do the good winning trade have in common? What did the good losing trade have in common together? And then how can I take less of the bad losing trade and the bad winning trade? Okay, which would be here bad winning. So how can I take less of those? What mistake do I make most of the time? And usually there's like only one or two things we make that are big mistakes as we kind of repeat. And just correcting those can make a big difference. You could see like a 25% increase in your profit by just stopping your mistakes and stopping doing things that you don't do well and that you shouldn't do basically overall. But you have to note them. You have to think about what you do. And you just take note of this, apply it for next week, and you see big results. So I'm kind of curious, Casey, do you take it some, and you guys in chat too, do you take a similar journal approach, or how do you keep track of your trade when you do it? I really like this, uh, this dashboard that you have. Um, what, what tool is that? Oh, yeah, this is a Trello. It's a oh, free tool online you can check out. Yeah, Trello.com, okay. I think. And, and you can create boards like this, exactly. So you just take a screenshot of your trade and then put it in there, and then I see there's a little comment tab. So like, yeah. if, if it's something specific that you noticed about it, you uh, put that in? Exactly. So usually when I, whenever I have like a bad trade, like the good trades, I know they're good. The, 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 yeah, what are the good losing or good winning? I, I kind of know they're good. But whenever there's a kind of bad trade, I tend to make a comment and note down like what happened. What was the mistake? Was it like, oh, taking profit too early or right. taking profit too early? Or maybe it's going to be, uh, well, you didn't respect the plan or you kind of put yourself as the wrong way or you had the wrong position starts and that. So I could try to write it down here in the comment. And actually, on Trello, if you like click on this, that uh, that box, you will see like the comment, the, the whole thing. So that's, that's what I like about it. Yeah, it's really powerful. Okay, well, that's actually really great. And yes, I think uh, review is really powerful. Checklists are powerful. The thing about review is as people, as human beings, it's really hard for us to change our bad habits. Yeah. Right? Like no matter what it is, whether it's trading or trying to exercise or trying to have discipline in your time management, uh, changing habits is really tough. And so you need to have something that keeps you on track when you fail because you're going to fail all the time. So if you have bad trading habits, you need to just keep coming back and coming back and coming back and not beating yourself up, not getting angry, but having something to come back and look at daily until you finally can train yourself to change. And it takes a lot of work and a lot of effort. And using cards like this is a great way to get you to build your habits up. Exactly. And someone was asking in the chat, I think this is uh, Ralph, was asking what platform this is, like the chart, this is TradingView. So it's really easy to take a screenshot on TradingView. You can just copy paste the screenshot in Trello and yeah, that works really well. And I also happen to play trades on trading view directly. So that that's a good thing too. But uh, yeah, whatever we decide works. Good is cool. So part number three. This is the third hack. Uh, strong trading strategy. Now for the long and I kind of want to show this is like a basic thing which is outside the scope of today's uh, webinar. 
for trading success, you know, it doesn't only have to be strategy. It's like different parts, the strategy, mindset, and risk. If you focus only on strategy, you kind of miss two parts and you won't succeed. If you focus only on mindset, think that, oh, mindset is like the key to trading profitably. Well, you miss two parts, strategy and risk. So you cannot only master one part, you have to master all the parts. But the key is that you have to do it one at a time. So like you master a strategy, you're really good at that. You understand the strategy you have, but then you look at mindset and then you look at risk and to make sure you become better over time. And if you focus on all of them at once, it doesn't work. But keep in mind, you have to work on all of them. Okay. And we can like answer your question about all of them later on, but I just want to go to strategy now and keep that, that route for now. Okay. So when I began trading a few years back in 2013, I had like no strategy, nothing, no clue what I was doing at all in the market. And that went on for a couple of, of years. Two years later, I had something, okay, like a strategy tool is kind of fine. I will make money. I wouldn't be full-time, of course, but it, it will be fine. I'll be able to, to trade with it properly with my checklist and stuff and everything around. And then a year later, I make this really strong. My strategy was like strong at that time. Because I applied the principle that I'll, I'll share with you next, and that made a big difference. Okay, and we'll also share a strategy with you also, like a complete strategy later on. Uh, Casey will do that, but this is just the principles. And I want to go through the, the theory on that. So you can easily do this in like 12 months or less. It took me 12 months to do this, kind of apply it and go back and forth between traders and ask them what makes something strong. But you could do this like really fast. And uh, as soon as they understand the, the five or six point, it's going to make sense and you will be able to apply it. So strong strategy, we use the word strong to what is a strong strategy. Okay. So the S stands for specific. How specific is it? Like you want to have clear cut rules. Have you ever tried, and maybe you guys tried this before, but you tell someone, maybe your wife, girlfriend, oh, uh, go buy milk. And then they come back with uh, coconut milk, right? But you wanted like regular milk and you didn't specify what you want exactly. Is it coconut milk and almond milk, whatever milk you want. And that's what you, that's why you have to be specific, especially in trading. If your rules are kind of not too specific, where it's like, oh, I should look at price action or I should look at candlesticks. Well, what does that mean? How specific do you want to be on that? You want to be more specific than candlestick or price action. Okay. And then T stands for tested. You want to test whatever you trade and that just makes sense. It's basic, but you want to go back on the chart, see if that works. And we'll show some example with you later on also of that. So that's really important. And then R stands for replicable. So can you replicate? And I, I'll remember like all my life back uh, a few years ago, I did like really cool idea of like doing something with Fibonacci. And I tested everything, it worked really well, the stats were awesome. And then I got one day traded live or even like a demo account. And I couldn't execute, I couldn't replicate the trade. I was like all, all confused, where I should put the lines, where I should look for, and it didn't work. It, it didn't work for me at least. So if you cannot replicate what you learn and what you've tested, of course it won't work. So you want to be able to replicate whatever you test and see that you can make it happen in the market. Okay, that's really crucial too. O stands for organized. Okay, so how organized can you be? And this is why I like like things like Trello, things like checklists, like maybe trading plan on one page, screenshot of trades, because you want to organize this so that you can like replicate and find find the, the ways to make it right. And that can be done different ways, whether through a trading plan, a checklist, whatever you think about. But you want to be able to have like everything in one place so you can go back and look at it. And then answers for not, not complicated. And if you have a strategy with like 10 indicators right now, it might not be the best thing. It might be hard to, first of all, replicate. It might be hard to test and it might be hard to stay focused on what you have to look for. Okay, so you want to be not complicated, that's the best. I see exceptions to this, but ideally don't do it. Ideally keep it simple and that works better, okay? Especially with multiple time frame, which we can touch on later too. Uh, G stands for grounded. And grounded, by that I mean kind of have a, a way that it's, it's kind of, it kind of makes sense with the market. And it's kind of not obvious sometimes, but don't look at the, like the, the moon phase to determine what you trade. That's not a good idea. Okay, that's not really grounded. It doesn't really make sense. So you want to have something that makes sense with the market, the context, what you look for. It's in alignment with how the market works. And that's just going to make it better and more reliable whenever you trade. Yeah. Those are the six parts. And you can think of them, maybe take note of those, uh, make a screenshot if you want, whatever. But they really, really work. Okay. And what's more, I want to add a few things to that, which is uh, things that people should think about sometimes when they trade. 
So first of all, it's a positive expectancy. We won't go into that. That's kind of boring. You have to calculate this. But whether your strategy makes money over time. If you tested it, it should make money, per perhaps. But you just want to make sure it works. Okay, risk of run of 0% so that you don't blow your account. There's plenty of calculators online you can search for. Just go into Google, type in risk of ruin calculator. You'll find a way to calculate this. And basically, you put in your 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 uh, win rate and your reward to risk. So how much you get on the trade in average. And it's going to give you risk of ruin, okay, based on how much you risk per trade. And that works well if it's 0%. More than that, it's like you risk blow up, blowing up your account, and that's not good. Then tools are method you understand. And for so like me, when I was using Fibonacci, I didn't understand it that well. So I would not succeed with that. But if you understand what you use, like me now, I trade Bong Chaban primarily, I understand the tool, I understand the method, and I'll have a, a single problem with it because I understand how this works. Okay, so you want to understand whatever you trade, of course. And then no, no uncertainty. And here's a powerful thing with uncertainty. That happened to me a lot in the past. Whenever you have a doubt of something you trade. So for example, let's, let's say you take a trade today and then you see a news announcement coming up, like a, a news release, for example. And then you tell yourself, well, I kind of feel like I'm not sure if I should close a trade or at least trade open or what exactly should I do? And that uncertainty is a, a way for you to improve and to become better. So you tell yourself, well, I'm not sure of the answer now. Maybe I'll just like close a trade for now, but I'll find a way to understand what I should do in that case. Should I close a trade or not? And so the more you come up with those uncertainties and the more you answer them and find a rule for them that you will add to your training plan or checklist after, the more you become better and the less uncertainty you have and the more solid you feel in what you trade. Because you want to take all the uncertainties you have, all the doubts you have, and find a rule for them that you're going to add to your trading plan later on. And that happens a lot in the beginning, but less as you go on and move forward. Okay. Now, the question I get a lot and a lot is like, how do you find trading strategies? How do you find those ideas of like what to trade? And the answer, like there's a bunch of answers. You could like look at books, which are going to tell you strategies like that work. 10 years ago, you could look at the videos, which work really well too. Or you could just go back to number one, which we talk about relationship, ask people around you, ask the trader what they trade. And usually a good trader is going to tell you exactly what they trade, what they look for. Like someone who's not that good might tell you, oh, it's a secret method, which I'll, I'll teach you, but like they don't want to share. So from what I've seen, you can ask people around you, the traders are going to tell you happily what they do and you can just learn from them. Okay. But you have to come with not the mindset of like taking from them, but like giving and just like looking for advice. And other people might ask you also what you trade and you might share with them. And both of you will become better because you can take things from one another and apply them in the market. Okay, so go back to that. That's going to be really, really powerful. And then eventually it comes down to kind of relying on the stats. Okay, so you do your tests. What does it look like? Maybe like this. And you say, oh, that's, that's pretty good. So would you trade this? Guys, come in the chat. Would you trade this or this or this one over here? Okay. I think the answer is obvious. You would go for like number one. Okay. But whatever you guys can come in the chat. And uh, that's how you decide what to trade based on your tests and what the curve looked like. Okay. It was an easy one, of course, for this one. And now that you guys have commented, of course, in the chat, uh, I want to get to Casey. Casey wanted to share today a strategy with you, something he's been trading for a long time. And that really works well. We'll get to that later on, also the stats. But uh, this is called the Big Three Strategy. In case you want to go on with that and maybe share your screen, share people what that's about. Okay, sure. Yeah, so it's really important, like he said, to, to get great strategies. And uh, that can be a big challenge for traders is finding strategies. And that's strategies that they can actually trade. Uh, and that's what our website's all about is for most of you who came here have definitely come here through the trading strategy guides um, email that we sent. So you guys are probably all familiar with us and we have a lot of different strategies. Uh, so uh, I'm going to talk about one of our most popular strategies, which is the big three. And I'm trying to figure out how to get my screen here. Click this button. Yeah, let me start um, my Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I found it. Yeah, now I'm presenting things to everyone, so you have to change the setting on the uh, the lower thing. So you put oh, it to everyone. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I just click that button, and now Perfect. you can see it. Yeah. Okay. All right, so this is the big three strategy. 
Um, and this is a really simple strategy. One of the things that uh, Etienne was talking about was uh, making sure that you can replicate it and that it's simple to follow that the trading plan isn't replicated. Wait, they can't see it yet. Wait. Yeah, there's a small delay, but they should see it. I think I had to click the button you're screen sharing. Um, okay. If you guys can see it, let me know. Because I'm just looking at the video and I'm not seeing it. Um, oh, there it came in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, uh, you know, Etienne is probably the guy to talk to about this kind of stuff because he he has with the relationship side. I mean, I was just scanning his podcast page and he's he has like 170 or some interviews. He's been interviewing traders for since 2015 i mean talk about an amazing ability to grab information from people i mean that's like the smartest thing ever is just starting a podcast and talking to successful traders i mean you can't get any uh smarter than that that was a great decision back then to do that uh so now i would say that you probably have some of the greatest uh relationships available to you through learning through others but anyways uh, back to the strategy um, it's called the big three and it's really simple um, and it's basically a, a, a moving average crossover strategy and I you probably hear a lot of things about moving average strategies that they don't work and that they happen late but the the the, the deal with this is that we we follow the momentum there's a couple really key things about it is that we're following momentum and when you it, when the signal will trigger, yes, it can be late, but we're waiting for pullbacks after the breakout. So if you get a breakout and you trade right at the top, a lot of times there will be some short sellers in there. I'm just saying if it's long and they're pushing the price down. Uh, but the actual buyers are getting in place once the uh, the retrace happens. And so that's how this strategy works. But it, but you start out by using the 20, 40, and 80 period moving average. Uh, you apply them to your your chart, right? So that's step one. And then step two is you just kind of look at the trend. Is it going up or down? Pretty easy. You can see here we have uh, one, two, three levels. It's moving up currently. Uh, and then so that's where you determine where the price action is. And uh, if it's flat and going sideways, that's what you call consolidation. The market really only does a couple different things all the time. People, I heard even today that the market is so different than it used to be, and I just don't know where they come up with statements like that. I think it's just an excuse for failing. And when you have excuses, you can pretty much guarantee you're failing. You don't want to ever blame the market for your faults and that you're not having success. It's not the market's fault. Um, but anyways, here, this is what you call a, a consolidation or a range market. And then if you see that, this is not a strategy you need, it needs to be moving in an either up or down trend. Uh, so then that's step two, uh, step three is wait for the candle to close outside the moving average plus pullback and then continuation of the trend. So here's the break below. And then the pullback is right here. Right, and then the continuation. So you get a pullback uh, into the moving averages after the breakout, and then you get the price action moving. Okay, uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, that was a downtrend, and here's an example for an uptrend. So it's really simple. Uh, you can once you do this a few times, you can figure it out. You you identify which direction the market's going. Is it sideways? Is it up? Is it down? You f find a breakout, and then you pull back in. You get in on pullback. Uh, the other thing that's really important about this is the money management aspect. And ETN can tell you about this. You really want to focus on your making your winners big because you never know what the market's going to do. It could keep on moving forever in one direction. Uh, and you just want to ride that, that move as long as you can. Cause if you can get a, a two to one risk to reward ratio, you're going to be much better off. If you're gonna if you're gonna do a one to one, your chance of success goes much higher, and so you want to try to get you know two to one, three to one, four to one, five to one as big of wins as you can. You want to allow that to happen in your trades. Um, 
And so there's just a couple examples here. You can we'll share the link to this strategy later if you guys want to study that a little bit more. Um, but that's the basic part of this, and we're not going into a lot of detail, but it's pretty simple. Um, and then when I, now I'm not sure exactly how Etn wanted to talk about this, but when he saw this strategy, he wanted to uh, to actually turn it into one of his tools because he's got a lot of different strategies that he's using and he has some tools that he uses as well. And so Etienne wanted to take this strategy and, and build it out using his methods uh, for his lifestyle trading. And so that's really what we were going to talk about next is how he turned this strategy into a tool using an, an automated trading system. And if you if you guys know, like he said in the front end, talk sitting in front of the charts all day can be a real bummer. It's like you have a job, and yeah, trading is your job, but it, it's it, you you don't have the freedom part of it. And so he has taken that to the next level by starting to build automatic tools, and those tools can help you have the freedom. You can get results in trading and also have freedom as well. Yeah, excited to talk about that for sure a bit later. And so we had a question. Zigar was asking why the 20, 40, and 80 EMA uh, or MA? Why those numbers? Uh, well, Zayed, the thing about the moving averages is you could probably tweak it depending upon what types of uh, entries you're looking for. Uh, and as a matter of fact, you could actually even totally remove those those uh, moving averages and just go off of price action and look at what the trend is. The reason we added the moving averages is to, for an extra visual representation and also to like uh, to help with the automation as well. Um, and so if, if you it's easier to automate using a moving average than it is trying to identify uh, certain points on a chart. Um, and so using those moving averages helps you visually and it also helps with automating the strategy and to create an indicator that works. Um, and I would say if you want to take a moving average strategy, I always tell people to test whatever works really good for them. Uh, the key thing is going to be about timing your entries on the retrace and also looking at increasing your money management. Uh, cause if we look at some, at these entries, uh, it's you you get a break and you pull back so it's combining an indicator with price action and so that's going to happen no matter what type of moving average you're going to use if you use a really wide moving average you might not get a crossover but these types of things will happen no matter what moving averages you're going to use the key is uh is using your timing using the price action making sure the price pulls back into a previous support and resistance level and then timing it right at the right time so you can get the best possible risk to reward ratio on the trade. Awesome. I think it's complete. But if you guys have any questions in the chat, comment there and we'll make sure to answer those later. And I, I think like we have a bunch of cool questions to answer. So I'm super excited about that and talk about the tools a little bit later also. And uh, Casey, I'll share with you a link for this is a checklist which you can share with people later on. It doesn't have to be now, but later whenever that's convenient. And uh, we'll go back to the presentation right now. I'm going to share the slides again. Over here, if you can present the, to everyone on my my thing, okay. be helpful too. We can see. And here we go. So the next thing I want to talk about, and I, I get this question like literally five times a day minimum. A few people asking how do you how do I how do I do this with the, with the small account? How do I go my small account to a bigger account? So the common sense approach people have is kind of wrong, right? People like the first thing you hear is like, oh, risk more in your account, so you'll make more money and grow your account. So I want to again go go searching for a second, okay? And we'll go with an example with that's pretty simple. So I used to work a few, like a lot of years, m many years back in the in the grocery store, okay? And the uh, owner of the grocery store would tell us a story about two different grocery store, okay? Store A, uh, so both both store they want to increase their sale and make more money overall, okay? Like, like a trader would want to have. And store A, they came up with something interesting. So they said, well, because we want to sell more, we should like buy a full ship get more produce, get more stuff to sell to our people. So they ordered like a big ship with all these, all these uh, food, all these products to sell more. And then story, they said, well, 
maybe that's too high. Maybe you should like just start with one thousand dollars per week that we're spending ads and in, in the flyers and stuff. And we'll see in like two weeks how how we sell and what progress we make. And then we'll kind of evaluate if we should spend more or less, perhaps. Okay. So who do you think succeeded? Comment in the chat. I do want to know. It's a pretty simple thing. But who, who do you think succeeded in that that uh, route? Was this story A with the uh, the full ship of produce to sell or story B with one thousand dollar in uh, flyers in the first week and in the first two months actually? And that's a I think that's not a true story, but whatever. <laughs> you guys can go in the chat and I want to know about that. Your opinion. Okay. And of course, you all know like store, store, be succeeded with that. And the answer to that is like, don't risk more because you have a small account. That's the common misconception people have. It will be the same thing as ordering a big ship with a bunch of product to sell. And that doesn't work really well. Like you end up with too many products that you don't know what to do with. And eventually you fail, you blow up or you, you, you lose your account. And that's a big misconception people have in trading. So there's three ways you can grow your account. And those are really simple. You can either manage your money really well, you can get capital to trade from investors like I did in 2016, or you can trade professionally, get straight for like a prop firm or different people. Those are the three ways. Now, for now, there's kind of only one thing you can focus on. If you cannot trade like pretty well, you don't have a track record to share with people, only one thing you can focus on and focus on what you can control, which is managing money really well. And I learned this few years back. It really helped me make a big difference to how I trade, my peace of mind, and eventually the amount I have in my account to trade. Okay. And that is to organize your money really well for to fast track your success and to trade better. So I want to share this with you today. This comes from Jim Rohn. That's where I learned it from. But apply to trading and it works like wonders. Okay. So whatever money you get, you want to kind of split it down into different parts. Part number one is that money you're gonna spend. So of course you need to live, you need to buy food, have rent your, your apartment or buy a place, whatever. Take 6% of your money you earn, use it for that, okay? For whatever you want to spend it on, it doesn't matter. And then 10% you invest in passive, so passively. So that could be money you put in a, in a fund or you, you invest in the stock market if it's passive, so like dividend, whatever. You invest this like in a way where it's gonna stay there and you won't lose it probably, okay? And this is how to do it. You can change the number if you want. 20% you invest in, in active stuff. So for me, that's mainly trading and real estate, okay? So you invest this in, in, in active stuff, stuff that's gonna move. So this is gonna, mean, this is gonna be money you put aside for a trading account, okay? And I personally do this. So I take 5% of that and put it to education and growth and maybe tools and things I wanna invest in to become better, okay? And whatever topic. And then 15% of this for me is my trading account. So every, every month, whatever money I earn, 15% goes to my trading account automatically. Okay, I don't think about it. It's just, it's the numbers. And that means that every month my trading account grows. No matter if I make money or not in, in my trading, it always grows. And of course I make money in my trading, but it always grows bigger and bigger every month because I think money I earn, put it in the account and make it grow. Okay, and then 10% you give. You could do whatever number you want, it doesn't matter. As long as you could with this to what you, what you need, and how fast you want to grow and see result. Okay. Like if you implement this really like today or soon, it's going to make a big difference how you grow your money. And eventually you don't have to think about, oh, how can I make money fast and make like money quickly. You just like, it just goes automatically. And the result is that you have more peace of mind. You're more careful. Not, not more careful. So you have more peace of mind and <laughs> you can just relax and see your money grow every month and every year and every five years incrementally. And that's super, that's a super awesome feeling to have, but you need to understand to my you need to be starting right now to match money properly, and your trading account will grow like pretty fast with that. Yeah, and eventually you can have the other part which we talked about earlier. So trade for the people or have someone invest money in you. Those work. You just have to kind of have a track record and stuff to get there, of course. And that is also really easy to do if you want to do it. We can talk about it later in the comment or whatever. Comment in the chat. We can talk about that, okay? So any question about this, guys, comment below in the chat. And KFC, anything you want to add to the last part, how to grow your account, or anything that should be mentioned, you think? 
Nothing really to add there, but I do think that it's a great idea to continue to add um, add money. You know, only spend sixty percent. That's a really good idea. Cool, awesome. So, guys, any question in the chat? Comment below. We are almost at the uh, Q and A session, so yeah, we'll get to that. And love that. So, most people said store B in the uh, chat. That, that's pretty cool. You guys are good. Love that. So if you guys allow me, and we, we've been like pushing this since the beginning of the, the webinar, but I've been working on something pretty interesting this past month. And especially with the big two strategy from KC I've, I've learned and, and went through, I think like we wanted to make this one step further and one notch further. And we've been working on a tool which we call the training assistant. Now this is kind of a trade education service where you get screenshot of your, of your, your trades and your setup to never miss a trade. So I would like to present this to you guys in all details and things that it does. But to me, it's really powerful. It's the best thing that I've been working on and best thing that happened to me to get more peace of mind and to be able to travel, be at the beach, be in different countries and still trade properly, not miss any setup. Okay. And this works especially well if you have a full-time job and you cannot trade all day or your boss like screams at you when you trade and he doesn't like it. That is like the perfect thing to have. Okay. And we've made it with different strategies now which Casey has an accelerator, which I want to use and include for that. So that's perfect for it, okay? So because you cannot afford to miss bad trades and to, to, to miss the good trades and like skip trades, okay? That, that doesn't work really well in trading. So what we get is like a system where you put on your chart, it's an expert advisor, and you get the alert of your trade on your smartphone, okay? We use Telegram, we partnered with, we partnered with them for that. But you are able to receive all your trades, all the stuff you have to take in real time, whenever they happen in the market. So that you don't really have to watch the chart at all. You can just like sit there, relax, do whatever you want to do in your life and have your setup come in and then you take them if you want or not. It's up to you. So that is what we created with the tuning assistant. And we had some really good feedback for now. We had a couple people using it already and it seems a good success with it. So Matt and Colin, another one here on Twitter, which was really awesome. So basically, uh, yeah, you're going to get actually something really exclusive today because we created this special edition, this part only for Casey's audience, only for you guys today. And we don't sell it anywhere else. Okay. This is the only place where we sell it because we made it happen and customize it for the big three strategy, which is, I think, awesome to have. Okay. So we've made a version where you get uh, Casey's setup, which he shared earlier, inside a training assistant on Telegram. So you get this notification whenever the setup happens. Uh, this was a couple of days ago. And you know exactly what to do to enter the trade. What's going to be your entry, your stop loss, you take profit. And what is going to be your last size per trade, right? How much you have to risk based on your account size. You can set this up for yourself, whatever amount you want, 1%, 2% or less if you want. And that's going to send you exactly the number of lot to put on your trading platform. Okay. So you have like no reason to watch the chart and be stuck at your, at your computer all day with that. It's impossible. And so you guys might ask like, what about the stats? And I talked a lot earlier about kind of going with the numbers and understanding the data that you have and testing. So we ran some tests. We've optimized things a little bit also to make it better for you. And here are the stats we've got for a few years of back testing. And they were great in my opinion. This is like really, really good, really smooth for what I've seen in the past from different traders. Okay, this is like really awesome. And of course you have ups and downs like every strategy has. But we've made things better and we'll talk about it later on to make things easier for you as well and make the, uh, the, the drawdowns just as big and more, uh, more peaceful, okay? So who is this for? We have a two different profile of people that could use this. Okay, so if you, have a, if you are a trader with a full-time job, find it difficult to watch the chart and be there and look at the setup, a lot of people like have this. They want to trade, but they can't afford to look at the chart during the day or they forget or they miss trades too much, well, that's for you because you don't have to watch the chart at all. And if you're like me, a traveling trader, which means like you are in different countries, you want to enjoy your life, could be like traveling, could be being with your family. You cannot afford to watch the chart all day. You can't afford to like have your smartphone all the time at the table, at the dinner table and watch the chart. So we made it really simple for you to not have to watch the chart at all and take the trades that you have to take whenever they happen and not when you have to be there to take the trade, okay? And then if you are a beginning trader and like want to make this really, really simple from the start with clear strategies we've built that work, we should use stats, then that's good for you also. Like you don't have to think and you just have to use that. It's going to be much more simple than 
trying to learn from different cores and trying to apply when it doesn't really work. Okay. That's straight from the start and that's worked. So now you might be thinking, uh, well, expert advisors are not good or scams or there's a bunch of different opinion online about that, that are not true. So they work. And only case to talk about that because you've built a lot of advisors and they really help you work with your trading. So why should people use that exactly in your opinion? Well, I think the biggest thing for, for using tools like this is to get notified so that you can move around, you know, so you can go and be free, uh, and let the computer do the work for you. So you don't have to be working all the time. Yeah. Love that. And that is where like automation works pretty well. Cause like you could do everything yourself. It could take you time, effort, energy, or you could make it work with an expert advisor. Like I did. And for the long, like now I feel so free that I don't have to like watch the chart at all. I just open my computer once in the morning, look at the charts and I'm done for the day. And that's only because I look at support in this area, but you don't have to, if you don't need to, right? So you make it work how you want to work. And that simplifies a lot of the process. So guys, what you're going to get is the big tree assistant. So the training assistant for the big tree strategy. Okay. And total value of this is, this is like not offered anywhere, anywhere online. We are the only one to offer this. We work a lot with Casey on that. Total value of uh, $1,299. And by the way, you also get in this, the uh, big three, uh, big three expert advisors for the, uh, the indicator Casey has, it's going to be included also. So you can see the setup, right? And that's coming with it, of course. And now we understand that you guys want to be able to build a playbook. Like it's good to have one thing to trade, but better if you have multiple strategies to trade, because that always makes it better. And eventually the drawdowns are smaller also, right? So we've, we've included with this, this the training assistant, the one I use, which is the Bong Ben reversal. This is included with it. So you get also this version where you can apply this same thing. It's a different strategy to taking different setup. Basically what we look for with this is setup of reversal with the Bong Ben. If we combine price sections, so specific candlestick with the bond band. I have a lot of videos on that also. You want to see how this works, but we combine both. So you can, so you can, so you can take reversal singles like we have over here. Okay. And that we've also tested. If you want to see the stats, here they are. We've tested over a couple of years and it works well. And that is, in my opinion, going to smooth out the, uh, the, the, the drawdowns and make it easier to trade when you have, when you have two things working together. Okay. So that's gonna be included with it. And the reason why I love it also is that I can be at the beach, like I was a few days ago, and say I have this running in my, in my computer and still take trades, okay, whenever they happen. So that's included with this. So you get a training assistant for the big three, plus the one for the motion universal. Total value, we are at over like 3,000 because they both work really well. And we wanna add something more to that also because of the fact that we understand you guys might wanna back test things, get your data, understand the test, and see the result of strategies, which like is totally fine. So we're going to include the backtesting script for MT4, which can run for both strategies. We've coded them; they really work well. You can test them for yourself and see the stats. Like for the, uh, the longest time, I've been backtesting manually. I had like these these, these different cores. I would get th these different methods. I would try to backtest manually, and this takes like a long, long, long time. And sometimes like you miss trades, don't take all the trades you should take, and that makes a mess. That's hard. That takes like at least four hour per pair that you back this okay, for a couple of years. And so with the script, uh, it's going to be much faster and you can get the results in like five minutes if you want and see how the strategy behave and what they do and how you can make, the, make them better, if, like make them better if you want to, if that's your, your goal also. Okay. But they work well by themselves. So you'll be able to plug in test strategies in minutes. So worrying about whether you have an edge because you will see the result and then reevaluate the, the setup in the market if you want to. See what you should what you what you should take as a setup, what you what you should not take, really really fast. Okay, that's with it. And this works even if you're not a coder yourself. You don't have to code anything; it's already coded, and you can just run it and see the result for whatever pair, time frame thing you want you want to trade. And make sure, by the way, just make sure that you understand the result might vary be between pairs. So trade this with pairs that work, not pairs that, that don't work with the strategy. Okay, and part of this we also included, I think. Yeah, so we also include with this in access to what we call the strategy lab, where we have all the strategies, all the parameters we've, we've used for different pairs. 
So that you can kind of optimize the strategy for the player because they all behave different, differently in different manners. And we want you guys to be optimized in that for different pairs. And so we'll share with you the access to that where you can see like the settings, the thing you have to put in your EA, the parameters to use for the best result in different pairs and different time frame. Okay. What I showed with you before was, I think, on the one hour chart or the four hour chart, depending on the strategy we used, but they were great on multiple time frame too. Okay. Like Keith mentioned before. So that is total value for that four thousand dollar. And we also understand the fact that you guys want to build relationship with different traders. Like you want to connect with people. That might be me, that might be Casey, that may be other traders doing the same thing that you are doing now. So we include an access to the mastermind group, which we have. This is a group on a different platform where you can chat with different traders and just talk with them, see what they do. Get into your question, maybe exchange on how other traders use the tool. Because all the people that got during assistance so far, they use it in a kind of similar manner, but different at the same time. They might take different setups, trade different pairs. So if you can talk to them, network with, the, with different people, you will find ways to improve really, really fast. And when you have a doubt about how to use something, you'll be able to talk with them, get answers to your question really fast, which is, I think, super awesome. Okay. So that's included as well. And here's what this looks like. So you can post your question here and get answers really fast. Okay. So what you can get, you get the training assistant, the big two strategy, plus the bong band one, plus the automated script for MT4 to back this, plus the mastermind group. And total value of that is $4,635. Now we also included with this a special course, which I've built in the past. And just in case you wanna have something more and learn more about different strategies and how to trade, uh, you'll get to learn also in this course, how to trade the bong band reversal strategy, which I have. So that course will be included with this, okay? It's a, I think four or five video course, which you can watch and you learn how to trade with that multiple time frame, breakouts, bone to universal trades and a lot of different things, which are, I think really cool, okay? So you get all of this, the training assistant, big three, which talk about bone to universal, script, the mastermind group and this strategy playbook course, full value of $5,330. And I just want to be honest, like we had two choices with this thing. We could do like most people, which is go as cheap as possible, give you like something or try it out, use it for yourself. Or we could kind of dedicate more time in creating resources that really help you move forward and kind of supporting you along the way. So along with this, because they have access to the mastermind group, we support you. We're in there to answer your question. We'll have a support team answering whatever question you have and getting to help you use the tool in the best manner. Okay. So we, we chose number two which is like helping you more as well as making things like really cheap where young, you don't like need support and you just try to go with this by yourself, which I think doesn't really work well. Yeah, that's not how I want to do things. So think about what this is worth. If you can spend time enjoying what you want to do in life, which might be traveling, might be spending time with your family, might be just going to work and making things work. Okay. And still training at the same time. So you could be at work growing your training account by earning money at work and trading and getting your signals when they happen, not when you want to check the chart. That will be much better than doing what you do now, which might be wasting your time or wasting your mental energy, which you could use for something else. So for me, that's worth a lot. It might be different for you, but I'm pretty sure it's worth a lot for you also. Okay. So what you can get is we have this full package, which is only once again available for you guys with Casey, if you came to Casey and we don't offer this to anyone else, it's like only for you. It's a special package, so we'll value of like over 5,000. We have a special offer today for $497, which you get training assistant for all the bonuses. A case mentioned to me before that this offer will be available only for a couple of uh, days, I think 48 hours from now, because we want to keep it exclusive and not have too many people, of course. We want to see and make sure you get the result and the support you need. So that's going to be for a couple of, uh, couple of hours. And of course, you have a money back guarantee. Like we don't want you guys to pay for something you won't use or you cannot use or you, or you don't like. So you can try it out, see the results, back the things if you want. And if you're not satisfied with this, then we have money back in the first 14 days. So a 14 days money back guarantee. And our support team will be able to help on that, of course, if you have any question. Okay. Bonus call. So here's a bonus for only the webinar. After that, I cannot do it anymore. And only for the first five people, I will do a question call with you and kind of review a training plan with you. Or if you have no plan, then we'll try to talk about the, the, the expert advisor, how you can use it. But uh, yeah, we'll do a call and talk about whatever you want. So you can apply things faster and use it in a, in a better way. Okay, I'll share with you what I do also, what I look for. 
And so that's going to be just faster to, to apply. But only the first five people, because I cannot do this with too many people. This is like an hour per call or more. So one of this uh, really, really uh, to a small number of people. And then people ask, uh, how much time does it take to use the Junior Assistant or to set it up? And here's the, so to this, where we have a couple of videos on how you can use it, how you can set it up. And 15 minutes is like plenty of time to use it and to set, to, to set it up on your platform, okay? You have to set up like MT4. Uh, you have to set up your Telegram bot, which is really simple to do. And then configure the alerts, uh, adding the license key. That's really simple. That's all it takes. And then you just drag it up on the chart and get it to run. Okay, it's really, really simple. Now, is this guaranteed to work? Well, people ask us all the time. It, yeah, so we've tested the result, and as you know, trading involves risk, but you can test it out, see the result yourself, and you back the set if you want. If the results are not as what you expected, then it's fine. But if you, but I'm pretty sure you, I'm pretty sure you like the result anyway. I'm pretty sure you will see that the result work, and then it's just a matter of taking the risk. And if you have any doubts and any questions later on, when the market happens in trades or maybe some some winning trade, some losing trade, we can answer your question. It helps you out to make it work in a better way. Can maybe give you tips not to make it better even, which is a good thing to have also. And who is this a good fit for and not a good fit for? Well, as I said, if you are just looking to make money quickly, that won't work. We're not here for that. If you're looking to like build your passion on, on trading and just have it that have a different system to create a playbook. That's awesome. That's perfect for you. Yeah. If you find yourself not being able to trade properly because you miss trades or you take too many bad trades, that's perfect because you know what is good, what is bad with the assistant. And if you use cases in cases indicator right now for the big three and you want to have a kind of boost to use it, then that's perfect. Okay. That's going to be awesome. And we'll be able to, you'll be able to use that pretty fast and get only the good setup without watching the chart, which to me is priceless. So it's awesome. And yeah, we could show you the dashboard if you want. Go through that. I don't think I have it now. We also have a special, I think, payment plan on the sales page. If you want to get, if you want, if, if you want to see that, it's actually.com for slash case is the link. And yeah, we should have a payment plan. So you have like two or two payment to use for, for that offer. So uh, that's about it, guys. Question and answer. So in case you have clear on that, any question you have yourself, any question you guys have in the chat, comment below in the chat, and we'll answer your question after that. Well, uh, thanks a lot, Etienne. Uh, I'm, I think this looks pretty cool. Uh, I do have some questions that maybe might help some other people, and uh, definitely for me as well. Uh, I personally think that the... The Trading Assistant Mastermind Group is huge. I think that's really amazing because like we had said earlier, talking to other people is really important. So getting access to that is, is to me, is one of the biggest bonuses of the whole thing. Um, how, how many people are in that group and uh, how active is it? So right now we have like both the, the academy, which I have, and the Trading Assistant in the same group. And we have maybe like 20 people so far. Uh, asking question and like they get an answer pretty fast. So both me and my team are, are asking good questions. So, like in 20 minutes, you can get an answer probably to your question, unless I can deny it. And people post there every day. So if I were to open it right now, which I might, but there's people that might ask different questions there, uh, you will see that people like post pretty much every day, every two or three hours in that group. Yeah, and I think that that is really just a golden opportunity for people yep. that are really interested in actually becoming better traders because there is an opportunity and an open door for them to get access to you, but not just to you, but to other people. And uh, yep. you could work together with others to really help you with your trading and to come up with your own scripts and tweak the ones that are cur you're currently using. I think that's a really yep. great opportunity. And this is not a group for like troubleshooting or whatever, answering a question on the training assistant necessarily. You can ask whatever you want, whatever you're dealing with now, and we'll be able to help. And other people can help too. I've seen people connect that they were in the same country, they would meet up and they would form a kind of relationship out of trading that they can kind of work on together. So that, that's what it's for, in my opinion. Yeah, I think relationships are great and it's uh, really helpful. Uh, okay, so another question I have. And uh, if you guys have questions in this chat, you make sure to add them. But uh, another question is about the uh, the scripts. Okay, uh, you have a script back testing. 
Um, can yeah. you tell me a little bit about how that works? Uh, does that mean that um, I can run it inside my platform? And if so, w is there a way for me to tweak the strategy and then run a different back test? And how does that whole thing work? Yeah, so we will give you access to the files where you can kind of run it in NT4. It's really simple. There's an option called the strategy tester. So you just reuse that, put in the script in your folders, and then you can run it. We'll also include the version that you can edit as well if you want to have it. That you might have to ask for it because I think we only include the uh, the basic one. But if you ask for it, we'll give it to you for free with it. So you can backtest, change it if you want. It's a bit tricky to change sometimes, but we can help you with that. And basically, you choose a pair you want to run it on, the time frame you want to run it with, the uh, method you want to use, and the spread, which you should use the default anyway. And then it's going to run, and you get the result at the end, which might take, based on what you use, between like two minutes and maybe an hour at most. And that works well. So you just plug it and use it in MT4. Okay. Now, uh, just to just to let get clarification, you showed that picture of the Telegram. Yeah. So the way that this works is when the strategy has an actual setup, then it will send a message to Telegram, which is located on my telephone, right? Exactly. So. so I will get the setups, the take profit, the stop loss, the entry, all of those things will be on my phone and I can get it wherever I'm at, correct? Exactly. You can have also Telegram on your computer if you want. So for me, I have both, which means like the, f the first I see, I see it and I can take it up if I want to. Okay. Now, um, do I have to be running my MT4 platform to make this work? So we have a group which you can include you in, which is a group, uh, like a Telegram group, where you would get the signals, except you wouldn't be able to customize the pair you look at and the time frame you look at. So we have a few that are open, which we use. But ideally, you want to run it on your MT4 yourself. You might keep your computer open if you want, which work well. Or you might have a, a VPS for that, which would kind of run in the background too. And you just leave it there. You have the pairs you want, the time frame you want, and it's going to run easily. On that, I think that's the best way you can customize more and get the result for the pairs you want and the time frame you want. Okay. Uh, additionally, another question that I have is um, this particular product right now includes two strategies it includes your Bollinger Band strategy and also the big three strategy. Um, so that's correct, right? That you get two strategies included with the alerts for both ones. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Could I use? Could I choose which one I wanted to run the alerts on if I only wanted to to use them for uh, perhaps the Bollinger Band strategy? Could I do that? Yeah. So there, there are two different scripts, which means that you just put the script on your chart you want on the time frame you want, and it's going to send you a load for that time frame in that pair. So you can you can have both open if you want. So you have two charts of the same pair. One with the bonus band reversal, one with the big three, and it will send you the, the same alert. So for the respective strategy on, on the pair and the time frame you want. Okay. Um, and now let's say that uh, a trader wanted to get some a, a script like this for one of their own strategies. Is there a way for that to happen as well? Uh, yeah, we can code that. It's gonna, not going to be included in that uh, offer. But we could do this. Yeah. Is that like um, we could contact you and you could do that maybe for a separate charge later, possibly? Of course, of course. Yeah, we'll add that if uh, people want to. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, uh, it looks like in the chat, Ralph has a question for you there. Uh, let me have a look, or you can read it if you want. Uh, I'll, um, I'll read it for you. It says, yeah, how long will okay. this offer be live? I'm away for some time, and I won't be able to use it until December 14th. Um, and so I wouldn't want to buy it if I couldn't use it right away. Yeah. So Casey, you're going to need a guide for that. Cause I think we run this only, well, we run this only for you basically. So we said we would keep it online for 48 hours, but you might decide to keep, to have it longer if you want to, if people have an interest in that, but for now it's going to be only 48 hours and we only offer the big three string assistant for Casey's audience. So we don't sell it anywhere else on the side. It's only for you. So you're going to decide what you want to have. Okay, so it looks like Ralph is going to be away, which makes sense. Not to he wouldn't want to make the expense if he isn't going yeah. to do it. But um, uh, 
Ralph, why don't you just uh, send us an email at info at tradingstrategyguides.com and we'll see if we could work something out with you um, because I think that uh, it would make a lot of sense for you to try to get a hold of this uh, when you do come back, especially um, to help you get those alerts, which can really be helpful rather than uh, n not knowing when the trades are going to be. You get those alerts delivered directly to your email. Yeah. And someone was asking about the uh, the replay. Yes, it's going to be a replay for this uh, event. I think the same link as you got. It's going to be a uh, going to be a replay. If you want to watch it again, again and again, and re listen to what we talk about the training assistant, or we can answer your question here, which is uh, even better, in my opinion. Yeah, you you can uh, if you have questions, please share with us now. Um, but also, you can email us or ETN afterwards, and we'll definitely get to those. And I noticed that Alejandro mentioned that the settings are configurable in the Trading Assistant yeah, settings. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about what that actually means? So we have a few settings that you can change, like, for example, what amount of your account you want to risk per trade, which is going to send you the right loss size for your trade. Uh, you can change the uh, EA settings also. So if you want to use different settings for the EA, you're going to be able to change them. And there's a bunch of them, which I'm not sure exactly what they are, but you, you can change all of this. And we have a, a guide also, like a video explaining you what the settings are. So you can know exactly what, what you change, what happens. And uh, yeah, that's going to help a lot. And you can do the same with the back, the back, testing, back testing script also. So if you want to test different things. I'm getting the question here. Uh, let's see. Uh, someone's asking, how do we know how to use a particular strategy? So I'm guessing that's when you use the particular strategy. Uh, oh, uh, just before I've seen, uh, yeah, the link for the performance review. Uh, we've put it. We've <laughs> we've put them in the sales page. So scroll down. There's an FAQ uh, FAQ section. Frequently asked question, you will see the result there. They're linked. So you can just click the link and see the whole detail thing if you want. Yeah, and we just put the link for that in the exactly. bottom of the page there. Uh, and so, Timio is how do we know how to use a particular strategy? So, this yeah. comes with two strategies. So, you can either trade them both or just trade one or the other. Um, and is there a clear label on which strategy it is when you get the uh, alert notification? Uh, yeah, so basically, well, we we have different settings. They won't send you the same setup at the same time. But uh, yeah, you, you can have a way, like myself, to understand what the market is doing now, the context, which we teach you in the course also, how to look at that. And then also you can, so you can trade only in that, the right circumstance, which we teach you how to do, or you can trade every time. So we have some parameters which we use to make strategy work all the time, pretty much, based on the past, which you see the graph of. And you can use that if you want. And they will uh, trade a different time because of the context of the rule we have. And sometimes we filter by like day of the week because some weeks, some days are not profitable for the past like 20 years. So you might not trade those days and that you can make it work easily. Okay. And then I noticed that Winderson was asking about the trading results. Uh, you can check those out inside of the link on the sales page uh, the trading strategy guides did post that link um, there's results to the big three strategy and also the um, etn strategy as well um, yeah. i do have uh and one other question i wanted to answer um which is about the big three owners and about being a discount uh yeah we this actually is the discount uh, we've actually negotiated this with ETN right now to have a, a pretty large drop just for the trading strategy guys customers um, based on what he normally charges. I am just going to go out on a limb because I don't know for sure, but I think he charges normally nine ninety seven for this. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. So the bunch of even the bunch of is even more expensive than that. We charge uh, for lifetime. We charge about like two thousand dollars for it. So uh, if people want to get the alerts, stuff for live sound. Okay. And then uh, Ralph is asking <laughs> about the photo and the email. I actually didn't send the email, so I don't even know what photo you're talking about. But I hope you're not saying that I look a lot older. Um, <laughs> because, no, that, f that photo, the one that has been going around on the Internet is pretty old. So maybe I do look a lot older. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of commented that, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I, 
I might want to answer a question which you had about multiple time frame, and I'll share with you kind of what I do for myself. Is I have the export of the training assistant open on two different chart because I trade two different time frame. One is going to be the four hour chart. The other one might be the one hour chart. Well, that that's what they are. Okay. So for me, before watching the one hour chart was a pain because I would watch it sometimes in the morning, then forget to watch it in the afternoon, or I would have to like go back every hour to look at the chart. It's okay? so not not cool at all. So now I have these two, these two charts open. And I look at a higher time frame, so the weekly chart every weekend. I look at the zones there, what zones are the, the prices at, what are the support, the recent areas. And I have this on, on my chart. So with the uh strategy, you have a, a parameters you can use to put some zones. And when it's in that zone only, the trading system will, the, uh, system will send you the notification, so the trade alert. When it's outside, it won't send you anything. Okay, so you get only the right alerts there. And I use these zones to take trades at this, uh, with the setup I have. So that's the way you can do it. And that works really well. I have a video on that to my YouTube channel, but that's how I do it. You can do it differently. Uh, basically, it's better to look at the high time frame than lower time frame to take trades. That works really well. Okay. Does that answer the question, Casey, you think? Or any more details needed? Uh, I think uh, I think that's pretty good. They can verify in the chat with if they need more details um i yeah. do have a question about the uh the, the results what time frame is that based off of um uh that should uh, be written in the because we have we have different tests uh we've done one for the four chart one for the one hour chart the one we put i think was for the four chart which we have for your strategy okay and let me just go see the uh, screenshot is it written no it's not written here but if you click the link it should be written which time frame that is i think so we have one for the far chart and one for the one. Well, I think yours for the, the far chart, the, uh, yeah, the big three and the one we shared was for the one watch chart for the bonus universal. Exactly. Okay. Well, that's, that's interesting. And, um, uh, Gary is asking about automation. Is it possible to automate the trades and what are your thoughts about automation versus manual trading? I'm right now just starting to test automation. So I'm not exactly good at that yet, but we're gonna work on a version for this and it's gonna be included in the, the dashboard when we come up with it, the script to automate the chase. But for now, we're still working on that, but that should be pretty to, to add if you guys want. And just email us if there's a demand for it, we'll, we'll create it and share it. And uh, is either of these strategies good on the one minute time frame? I didn't test them, to be honest. And getting alert for the one word time frame might not be the best. So you might be focused more. This is more people like wanting to have a, a lifestyle. And I would recommend this on swing trading better. Yeah. Right. It wouldn't make much sense. If you're going to be trading one minute, you might as well just sit in front of your computer yeah, all day. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I would see. So, yeah. yeah let me open this up. And if you guys think it's good, I might share with you the... Uh, the training strategy lab, so you can see the attention parameters which we have, if that makes sense to you. I could uh, open this up on my computer and show it to you. So you can see kind of what that looks like and what things you can use and stuff for the EA to get a better result. Uh, makes sense. Comment below in the chat if you want to see this, and uh, I can share. Yeah, I really think you've done a great job on all of these different uh, bonuses and things you've put together. Uh, the 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 coding of the of the strategies for the alerts is really tremendous. So um, great, congratulations on on doing that. How long have you been receiving alerts for your own trades? Uh, for me, it's been about probably five months or something. It's, it's been a while, but we've been like tweaking it, making it better. And the, the first version I had was only for myself. I would miss way less trades, almost no trades. So I would take all of them. But yeah, it took a like it took a while to kind of make it better and make it more customizable and have different settings and things and parameters and different Nick Profit to make it adaptable to uh, most traders. So that took some time. Well, I didn't uh, I didn't see any comments about uh, taking a look at the lab. Uh, so. Yeah. Not sure if there's a, a lot of uh, people wondering about that or not because they didn't comment. So if you are, just go ahead and comment. And I would say that if you're thinking about uh, trying this out, I would just recommend that you give it a shot. You know, the getting the alerts is a big benefit. I think the the mastermind 
is it's probably my favorite because I like relating with people. I mean, the alerts are really cool, but Same. just the, the mastermind is really awesome. And I always, I'll just be completely open. I spend a lot of money on uh, masterminds because I want to get around great people. Okay. As a matter of fact, one of the mentors that, that I pay a lot of money to always says that he wants to be the dumbest person in the room. Right. And I, I like that phrase. So I say that a lot. I want to be the dumbest person in the room. I want to get around people that are a lot smarter than me. And so that's an opportunity for you to get around people that are a lot smarter than you. Um, not saying that anyone isn't smart, but I know that I like to learn from people like that. So uh, the other thing is just if you're going to make any kind of investment, making an investment in yourself is the best investment you can make. Every time that I've bought education or training courses or strategies or masterminds or any of those things, I've always gotten an immediate return on my value, uh, return on my investment. I've not one time, we're talking about a guy who spent a lot of money on these types of trainings and programs. I've not one time regretted that decision. So if you are hesitant about investing in yourself, I've just got to ask you, why would you be hesitate in investing something that can help you become a better trader in person? Um, don't hesitate. Just take action and invest in yourself. Just do it. Especially because yeah. uh, uh, ETN has got such good material. Yeah. And the same for me. Like, I spend a lot and a lot every year on like, either there's going to be tools for trading that help. So things like training view, I always like I'm willing to invest because it helps. And uh courses also like like mentors and, and mastermind also I'm a big fan of that every every single year. So that's, that's awesome. Yeah. So any question you guys have, come below in the chat. We want to answer your question and make sure that you like we deliver value on what you are looking for. And that tool just saves me so much time and energy, which like I just feel in love with it. So uh Is there anything you want to add or anything you want to hear about? Or? Uh, I think I've got oh, yeah, all the questions that I had. And yeah. I just want to thank you again for reaching out to me to uh, present this material. And uh, thanks for the training. And thanks for um, creating this great tool and for providing something of, for value for my readers and for your listeners and readers. Uh, so overall, it's been a, a, a big uh, bonus for me. So thank you. Awesome. Maybe I want to share a couple of uh, next steps. So what happens after you join, if people wonder. And so you'll see an email with all the login details, all the things to access the dashboard. And you will get from the dashboard your license for the training assistant for both versions, the same license. And then we'll send you an email with all the bonuses within like 48 hours. So we try to send a bash email because those are not available publicly. So we want to make sure we send you an email that's going to be only for you. And we'll send it with uh, 48 hours after you, you purchase. Does that make sense? So link is there as you as you mentioned, Casey, and for people watching this or the replay, we appreciate you and uh, do whatever you, we need to do to help you out. So if you have any question, reach out to me or, or Casey, and we'll be able to help on that. Uh, we had a couple last minute questions here uh, from Ralph and Shadrach. Uh, I'll handle Ralph. Actually, I'll handle both of them. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um, Ralph was asking about the testing strategies from TSG. Uh, what what is the methodology behind, what is your testing methodology behind the strategy? So the only strategy that we're talking about right now with this system is the uh, big three, which ETN has tested via um, his script that he wrote, right? And so it's a tested strategy uh, based off of back testing data using the script. And as far as the methodology behind the other strategies, uh, we have not tested these strategies. We have gathered the information from writers and traders who have submitted them to us, um, and we presented them in really easy to understand step-by-step -step strategies for traders to follow. Uh, we could begin, and you know, this is could be the beginning of a long relationship with Etienne here. Uh, but we could begin to run all of the strategies that we produce through his tools, um, which I think would be pretty cool. And so I, I really like that you mentioned that um, because we have really never been 
uh, had access to someone like Etienne who has the ability to do this. So this is pretty cool. Yeah. But uh, that's where I think it gets interesting. Uh, that's where you can see that, like, what you teach is also good because it, it makes sense and the result can prove it. So that's awesome. Excellent. Um, and then Shadrach was talking about if you have the big three, is there a big discount? And the answer to that is yes. Uh, the price that is in that link that is just right below your comment is a, a very large discount. It's 50% off for the trading strategy guides members only. And so, yes, that is a big discount and you get the, all of the bonuses and everything included, including ETN's strategy, his Bollinger band strategy, which he's been trading for a long time. You get that one as well. Cool. Exactly. Okay, so now if there's any other questions, I think we've been going quite some time. We still have a pretty good audience, about 70 people in here. So out of everybody that's still here, if you've got any more questions, we'll stick around. Otherwise, we're going to um, we're gonna sign off. Yeah, go have lunch. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I was just thinking because we started right here at 12 Eastern. Yeah, cool. The center accent says thank you. Uh, the link, yeah, link should be in the chat, or I think it's in this description of this uh, video. Is that right? It's in the description. It's also in the chat. Awesome. And we'll Not send up a follow-up email uh, with the replay after this as well. Sounds good. Sounds awesome. Okay. Well, then I guess that's it. Uh, again, thank everyone for attending. We really appreciate you guys who are on our list and give us feedback because wh what you guys share with us helps us get a lot better. Thank you. And thank you, Etienne, for taking the time out today as well. Cool. My pleasure. And I, I just see, uh, yeah. So links to checklist, I once again, I've shared this uh, with uh, Casey, so you can post it whenever you feel like it, whenever you want. As, as soon as this video is posted, there's going to be a description below the video. That description is going to have a link to the chest checklist as well as a link to Trello and uh, any other types of things that we mentioned during this video will be in the description. Cool. So keep in mind, checklist is good. It's, it's useful. It works but it's, it won't simplify things as much as it's doing assistant as much as having this tool and not having to watch the charts at all pretty much i think so if you have the trading assistant you still would want the checklist though yeah but they are different strategies so oh okay yeah you'll have to just use that as a template to make your own exactly that's what yeah. we, we meant it for exactly cool i appreciate that and casey thank you for letting me come in and share about what i've been working on and all these adjustments so for me it's a pleasure and I hope to talk to you guys uh, soon. Okay. Thank you.